server, which is this one here. Here, in, in installed images, we have to create a group. So it has to uh, be on the group. So add image group, uh, say Windows 7 images. Okay, there's a group into seven images. And I'll go back to the client machine and I'll put it on that group. So upload it straight to the server. And the server's name is um, London DC1. Um, uh, let me just check what's the name of that server. Uh, non mem1 DHCP. Okay, so non mem1 DHCP. Connect to that server. Okay, username, administrator, and the password of password. And then select Windows 7 images. Okay, we're ready. We are ready to take the to get, um, take the capture of this image and deploy it to the server. So um, name it location. Let's put it on the C drive as well. So in seven. Okay, we are ready. Next, now we're taking the image, or the, we're capturing the image. I'll pause the video, come back when it's uh, completed. Okay, after a while, now the capture is complete, and it says there the operation is complete. The installed image was created success successfully. So click finish. Okay, if I go to uh, my Hyper-V, um, at the moment, uh, I click finish on that uh, machine, but I don't need it anymore, so it's gonna start restart again. So I'm gonna right click and say turn off. Okay, so if I go to a mem1, I log in here, I should see that image. So, with the seven images, let me just refresh this. So click on London mem1, then refresh and in the installed images win 7 images yep I've got the Windows 7 best image online here okay so what do we need to do now is we create another machine a blank machine bare machine so you just imagine that this machine just arrived in our network so new virtual machine um, bare machine Okay, so click next, next here. I'm gonna leave this because we're gonna remove this uh, network card anyway. So click next and finish. I'll install the uh, operating system later. It says install an operating system from network server. We need the legacy uh, network card. So click finish. Okay, this machine, I can right click and go to settings. This network adapter, we have to remove it. And we have to add a new adapter. So legacy network adapter, add that. And it will be connected to LUN switch. Click OK. I don't need to change the BIOS because um, even though it's gonna try to boot from the hard disk, there's nothing in the hard disk, so it's just gonna continue the network adapter. But if, you, if not, then you just need to put this up. Click OK. And I will connect to that virtual machine and start the virtual machine. So I went to the hard, hard disk, didn't find anything. Now it's trying to boot from the network. I pressed F12 and it's going to boot from WDS. Okay, we wait a few more seconds. Here we go. We got um, a message. Do we want to capture the image or boot image? Since there's nothing to capture, this is a bare machine. There's nothing in here to capture. We have to choose a boot image. So click boot image. I'll pause the video just so this when this is completed. Come back. It's finished. It's finished. 
So I wait. Okay, Windows Deployment Services, this is Wizard again. Um, here from a local language, we're going to choose English and the keyboard input is going to select ourselves United Kingdom. Click Next. And here we have to connect to London Mem1 BHCP. So we're going to put Contoso Administrator. And password, a password. And we choose the image that we have just taken it. So click on that image, click next. And next again. Now the image will start installing on this computer. There we go. Okay, I will pause the video again and come back when it's finished. Okay, after a while, which has been uh, overnight, um, I started this, uh, this machine has um, been waiting here like this. Um, so it's been installed in that image. Now, um, just gonna make some changes, country or region, you put it in United Kingdom and click next. So this is our bare machine. That's got that image that we just downloaded. Um, choose a username for your account. Your computer name is managed by your organization system administrator. So. In here, I'm just going to choose admin uh, 3, click next, and type a password for that account. And here, just pass. Click next. Accept the license agreement, click next. And then um, here, help protect your computer, improve um, and improve Windows automatically. Ask me later. And click next here. Then the setup will run. I'm going to pause the video, come back when it's finished. Okay, now it has uh, rebooted once, so I'm going to control all delete and I'm going to log on to the um, Contoso. So, Contoso, administrator, and the password or password. Okay, excellent. We have um, installed took a captured image from one machine, our best machine, and we installed it on this bare machine. So we have this machine, it's in the domain, everything just led the way we left the other machine. If we want to create, for example, a multicast, say that we want to deploy it to more than one machine, uh, we have to create a multicast here. So password. Okay, we create a multicast transmission. So right click on that, create a multicast transmission. And then um, name, deploy pin seven. Next, what images select the group or the image group that you want. Um, select the image group that contains the image, Windows seven image. That's the image that we want to take. So click next. And then we have a choice here. Do we will use um, autocast or schedule cast? Autocast starts the transmission automatically when a client requests the image. Then as other clients request the same image, they also be joined in tra transmission. That's already started. For example, if one client starts the um, deployment, then it will run for say half an hour and another client starts the deployment. It will con just get in there as at that half an hour. So the half an hour that he's missed, it will be deployed at the end. Or scheduled cost starts the transmission based on the following criteria. Start by the number of clients have reached, for example, say that we set into 20 clients. So when there's 20 clients, then we can start the multicast. Under less than that will not start the multicast or you can set a time and date when you want to start the multicast. You can set time and date and number of clients together. Okay, so for our exercise, we're going to do it for two clients only and click next. And then it's operation complete, finish. 
So now we 